Welcome back to videos in two days. Am I on fire or what? So now that I clickbaited you into this video, I should explain what's the deal. So yesterday I made a video about over engineering stuff, okay? And some people just can't get over it, just can't. So I'm gonna read the comments. But to understand what the deal is, you need to watch the video first. It's in the whatever corner, okay? So go ahead, watch it. I'm gonna wait here. Watch it. Just watch it. Click and watch it. Then come back. You didn't watch it, right? Okay, I know. Whatever. So, let me quickly sum up what the deal is. So, there's this website, which I got from a tweet. Oh my god, it's so bright. Which I, I got from a tweet. And it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Very nice. Pretty nicely done. Okay. You, you see the source? Uh oh it's, it's done with the Next.js and Tailwind, whatever. If you take a look at the package, it's, oh my god, million dependencies. And I used this as an example, which I think is a good example of over-engineering certain stuff. Because this is just a simple CV website, okay? With some static content. And I used this as an example. I'm, I didn't say it was bad. I didn't say you can do it this way, okay? You do whatever you want. As an engineer, I think... And I think this is the general consensus in between engineers that you should always simplify things. Why am I saying that this is just too complicated by because it's using Next.js and Tailwind, whatever? Because it is, because you don't need it for it, therefore you shouldn't use it. But why is that a problem? I mean, it's not in this scale, it's not a problem, obviously, okay? But what I'm saying is to teach yourself to be a better engineer, you need to learn some habits, okay? Whatever the scale is, you should try to enforce those habits, okay? That's what I'm saying. Either you're working for BMW or, or whatever you're making a CV website, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not about that. It's about simplicity, okay? This is what I'm trying to say. But let's see what you think about it, okay? This is so true. GitHub literally lets you save one HTML page for free for simple stuff like this. So you don't even need to worry about hosting, see? I, this is a mentality I can agree with. Really nice. You can do it for free. Why don't you do it for free? Okay, next. It's been so long I missed you. Oh, I missed you too. I actually have a portfolio made using Next. It also has a blog thing, which I made with a CMS. Time to simplify that to a Cloudflare function. <laughs> the right mentality right there. Okay. What's funny? Give it a mercy like. <laughs> Thank you, dude. <laughs> I'm so happy. There's an NPM package named CV Astro. You just pass some information and it creates literally the same portfolio page. Well, I don't know what to say, okay? It's fine. Once again, okay, let me reiterate. It's not about this. I think the dude just used a bit bad presentation, okay? The thing is great, but not for this. You know, that's my take. It's, it's good, but it's too much for this. What I'm saying is that you should choose the tools for the job and not, not, the, not the other way around. Let's go back to the comments, it's more fun. GraphQL, etc. 100% overkill, but Next is really nice to work with. I agree. And I said, I think I said it in my previous video, that must be, you know, must be easy peasy. HTML files are miserable when you are used to React components and make it much less easy to maintain, especially when styling with Tailwind. This take is pretty stupid. <laughs> Oh my god. HTML files are miserable. You know, I'm not even gonna say anything to that. Uh, but you're used to rare components. I get it. You get used to it. It happens to anyone. When I get used to work with something, well, you know, you tend to forget. You need to, you know, reiterate. But that's not a problem. You can still do React. It, it, you think it's easier to paint? It's your take. I mean, it's there's no problem with that. My th okay, especially when staying with Tailwind. Tell me. Okay, let me let me show you something. Just tell me, does this look okay to you? You probably need less CSS to style this element than the CSS class is added. Just let that just sink in, okay? From an engineering standpoint, do you think that's okay? Do, do you not see a problem here? Do you not see that this might be just, okay, I'm using a lot more CSS classes on the actual whatever button element than the actual styling of it. I might be doing something wrong, okay? This might, might, you might, I might not need this. 
if you're doing one billion buttons or you're doing a complex whatever, I say it's okay. It's gonna make it easier for you because you don't want to style every single button every single time. But this is here you have a single button. Just think a little bit. You probably don't need all of this. You can you can do it in like five seconds. And you don't even need to enter all of the oh my god. It just it just blows my mind. Okay? But does it work? Yes. Is it fine? Yes. Is it like the best way you can do it? No, definitely not. That's just my take. You think it's stupid? Well, you're stupid. No, I don't think you're stupid. When you're starting out, it can feel like you do very much need to show off to some degree. Okay. But yes, after several years working and you are confident uh, since you actually have skill now, HTML page with some bullet points is the way to go. Oh no, this guy made a website with the technologies he's comfortable with. Look at what the world has come to. This is how, this is his own website. Why is it wrong of him to use the technologies he wants? I never said it. It's wrong. I, I think I even said in the video it was very nicely done. You do, it even said that you do whatever you want. This same website could have been built like with HTML. Okay, whatever. And then what's the point? What's wrong with deciding to make a website with the latest technologies? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. But sometimes, you know, you just don't need all the technology. Let me just try. Oh my god, imagine the amount of money you'd save. While the performance gain would matter so much. Oh my god. Dude, dude, dude! Just think for a little bit. It's not about saving money in this scale. It's about building habits for be to be a better engineer. What if you one day you start working with, you know, with a bigger company? And you don't start building habits of like being efficient. Efficiency includes risks. Efficiency includes... Uh, you know, future proof and whatever. And adding 5,000 packages to your website, that's all a risk because these may get deprecated. These may not be updated later on. You, they, these could introduce some sort of like security problems. Or, you know, you know what I'm talking about, okay? So, so don't be like that. So there's no freaking problem. You can still do that. I just think it's unnecessary. Did I see GraphQL in there? <laughs> That's, you, you really need that for this. You really need it. Yeah, but, you know, it's probably part of a package. The dude probably wanted to add it because, you know, you might want to use it. Honestly, it might take less time for you to develop something with React and Tailwind than plain. Eh? Okay, if that's your daily driver. I know that's the case for me at least. I'm not saying it's not. It's, it's perfectly possible. I think the easiest way to spot a senior engineer would be just to observe how little they use for something so simple. Oh, my nipples. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. There's no need for more. That's... Oh, my. Oh, my God. This is all. This is all you need to know. And this is all you need to live by. Okay? This is so true. Senior engineers think completely differently. They think about the problem and how to solve it. And not, you know, just to grab something off the shelf and, you know... Oh. I solved the problem with this, so I'm just gonna... It's gonna be good for this, right? It's gonna be fine. I can just use all of it. Yeah, no. It's it's not like that. I think that he used these technologies because he wanted the future EJ person to see that he knows how to use them and is comfortable with them. Could be possible. I certainly believe he knows uh, how to use them. Next year's and Tailwind are pretty simple to use. They sure are. But dudes, you're missing the point of the video, okay? It's not about how simple they are to use. It's the question of necessity, okay? If, if you really do, you need a Tailwind? No. Then don't use it. Do you need Next.js? No. Then don't use it. Do you need React? No. Don't use it. Do you need whatever GraphQL and whatnot in your project? No. Just don't use it. And it's gonna be fine. He obviously presented his tech stack with this and not just uh, used it like a demo. Uh, he should have presented it. He shouldn't have presented it like that, though. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. It was just I think it was just a unlucky presentation. OK, on the other hand, once you focus on Next.js and Astro with Tailwind CSS, uh oh, you, sh you build those small websites way faster than single HTML5. Missing the point, brother. OK, you are right. But that's not the point. 
Uh, with static builds, you can also get performance. And since all the small projects use the same stack, maintenance is also fast. Even with deploying this war so it's faster than a single file. Okay, 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 stop. You, you can deploy a single file with Versal as well, okay? So don't be thanks, okay? So and even if it's FTP, you can automate that as well. So it's it doesn't make any difference. But I get but I get get your points, okay? Fine. Made me laugh. Well, I sure hope so, okay? I sure hope so. And by that, these are all the comments. Thank you very much for your insights. If you think you have a better example on how to explain what I'm trying to say here, use the comments below, okay? I hope you don't get offended just because I reacted to your comments, okay? Don't be a baby. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>